Hey traders, welcome back. So today I want to talk about something which is kind of well known in the US, but in the UK, we sort of look at it and go, what? And that is, what's a FANG stock? Have you heard of the terminology FANG? FANG as in F, A, N, J, FANG. What does it mean? So FANG stocks were put, or FANG, the terminology FANG, F-A-N-G, was put by Jim Cramer, who works on a TV show in the US called The Street, I believe, did I write it down? Um, anyway, it doesn't matter, he's quite a popular guy, he's a bit crazy, kind of has all these buzzers and stuff, talks about stocks and gets people to call in, but pretty well known over in the US. So he made this terminology fang uh, to mean some of the most popular and best performing tech stocks. So the F is, can you guess which ones they are? You probably already know them, then great. If you don't, have a guess. F is for Facebook. A is for Amazon. N is for Netflix. Flix. And G is for Alphabet. Uh, or of course, as it's more, more commonly known, Google. Um, so those were the FANG stocks. Now, the reason he came up with that is because these are very, very popular with hedge funds. You know, a lot of hedge funds have got Facebook, they've got Amazon, they've got Netflix, they've got Google. Now, why do they have them? Because this is generally, if you think of the improvement with uh, how the internet has made our lives easier and better and made money, this is exactly what has happened. Um, Facebook and Google basically control pretty much all of the ads on the internet. If you've got search intent and you go on Google, that's when you get your Google AdWords. Um, and if you've got contextual adverts on Facebook that are, that are really uh, targeted to your interests and your likes and the kind of person that Facebook thinks they've categorized you as, then that's the ads that are gonna be presented to you there. So Google and Facebook pretty much dominating the ad industry. Of course, there's more out there like Twitter, uh, Bing, Snapchat, uh, all that kind of stuff. But as Facebook now and Instagram as well, it's pretty much dominating. So that's where the revenue comes from and that's you know why hedge funds want to own it because it's a big slice of the kind of technology pie in terms of running ads, pretty classical uh, business model. Amazon, of course, is your e-commerce giant. You know, there are others, there's Alibaba, it's a bit more uh, business to business. There's, uh, in the UK anyway, there's uh, eBay, um, but Amazon's really just smashing it in terms of, uh, you know, their own products, having other people's products on there, um, all the extra things they're expanding into now, they are really the biggest retailer in terms of online retailing. Um, they've just spent loads of money on making, uh, their warehouses just run so slickly and smoothly. You know, they were running at a loss for ages and they're just a, an absolute monster. So of course, hedge funds want to have a, a, a piece of that pie, which makes perfect sense. Retail shifting to online, Amazon's a leader in that. Safe place, you would hope, um, for people to put the money. And then Netflix is the entertainment. Okay, it, it's, it's basically where, it's, it's all the kind of shifts, isn't it? If you think about the shifts from online, uh, from offline to online, you, you've got your advertising going from your billboards and your TV to, to online, your retailers going from uh, bricks and mortar to e-commerce, and then Netflix going, uh, Netflix taking the industry from TV and cable to online stuff. Now, I want to add some more onto here, guys, because, um, now we, you know, you kind of, you're probably sitting there thinking, well, what about what about some of the others? And there's some others coming thinking to you, coming into your head uh, right now. And, and so there was another terminology brought out, which is now called fam, fam. <laughs> so that is, think about it: Facebook, Amazon, Apple. Apple's a massive company. Of course, they revolutionised the phone. You know, they've absolutely changed it completely from what it was. Um, and that's obviously a stock that people want to be owning. I'm not saying this, there's recommendations to buy these things, but this is why this terminology came about. M is for Microsoft and obviously G is for Google. So Netflix has been a bit demoted from this. And I kind of work out why, because even though Netflix is very popular, very valuable, because they're at the cutting edge of, of changing things. Don't forget guys, Amazon have got Amazon, have got Amazon Prime as well. So they're coming on Netflix's heels and saying, hey, we can do that as well. We can sell media online, um, a different business model. But so, you know, they are very, very similar in that instance. But if you look at Am the additions here are Apple and Microsoft. Now, of course, Microsoft, uh, Windows, and all the other things they've got, tablets and, and what have you, and software. Uh, and Apple uh, with just the revolutionary uh, products that people love or, or they hate. So these 
This fang and this fang, fang, I don't want to pronounce it. These are very popular. This is why they're called this. If you ever hear that now, you know what it is. It's Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Google, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, Google. But the point is, it's the biggest, most popular tech stocks. You can add more in there. There are other, there are definitely other ones that have probably got a good a reason as any to be in there. Um, but the point is it's it's revolutionizing the way we do business. It's revolutionizing the way consumers shop. It's revolutionizing the way that consumers consume in this, in this case, content. So that's what it's all about, fang, fang. Any other stocks you think, what term, what kind of real acronym would you come up with with stocks? I'm trying to think of a clever UK one, um, but I couldn't think of anything really that exciting. So if you've got any really clever ideas of how to uh, you know, make a little acronym, then put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear some funny ones you've got. Um, hope you like this video, guys. Hope that explains to you what fang is and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one. Take care.